Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Stoneblock. So uh, today, I've been doing a little bit of uh, off-camera work. And, oop, what is going on? Oh, okay. And uh, letting this, it doesn't like all this take the radiation, but um, letting that build up so that I can get some neutronium going. So now, should be able to, oh, I've also been working on getting all this stuff together to get towards this infinity catalyst, so. Cosmic meatballs, ultimate stew, that kind of stuff, which, ultimate stew I don't have close to done. The cosmic meatballs are essentially done. So we want neutronium seeds. We need one of those, one of these. We can probably grab this first. And then we need a tier. Uh, six. We're gonna end up needing nine in the end, so we might as well just make them all now because we have the stuff, anyways. There we go. Let's go back to the neutronium. Seeds. We can actually do one more crux. There we go. So we can get two seeds going. Two of these seeds should let us pretty quickly get to a point where we can get all the rest of them that we need. two of those going, get one of their essences, Oops. throw that in there, because if I don't do that, it backs up super quick, and I just need to put the upgrades in, and where are they at, there we go. Six and one of those. And quickly, quick purge of all these. Oh. Just to get them out of the way. Because they make a lot of noise and drive me nuts. Okay, so that being kind of a side thing that we just did there. Uh, off camera, I'll finish filling that in so we get the full neutronium setup going. The main reason I wanted to do that right now is just so I can shut this off. Because I was tired of all of the uh, lag that all having those watch running all in the same chunk was causing. And also, we really don't need them. Plus, it was just kind of a waste of uh, those uh, that take acceleration. So, also off camera, I made another energy condenser. Right here which we can use to dupe them. These now we can get dragon eggs, which I'm going to do this mainly because I want to get um, if I can get a couple of these, I can set up a oh wow, we already had enough to get one. two of them. So the reason I want to set these, I want to get a couple of these is, first of all, one of these we're going to turn into a Mach 2, but these ones, 
I'm going to take and we want to see what has, I think it is dragon eggs right now. Yeah, 262. Let me just quickly check to make sure nether stars don't have more. And diamonds I know don't have more. Yeah, okay. So I don't think we have anything with more EMC than what we have currently, or than the dragon eggs that we can craft at least at the moment. So the goal today is going to be to get um, to get together the stuff to make these uh, at um, what is this one? Project E. Project E. We want to get not Project EA. That would probably require a bunch of microtransactions. Um, we want to get all the way up to the max level relays and collector's pieces. First of all, we need those to get the condenser mark too. I already saw this. We need one of these and one of these. But more importantly for us right now, these will let us get EMC generation, and I'm pretty sure they can be tick accelerated. So what we can do is we can set up set up a um, system in our um, mining dimension to just get a load of EMC, essentially. Really quickly. He's like, this stack has 14 million EMC. These are worth actually more. I wonder if the, actually, the one thing I didn't check, is this worth more than this? So red matter is worth more. So dragon eggs are a good way for us to get started, but red matter is going to be a better way to continue on. And essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to tier up all the way to the max one, build a couple, or get a couple of these duplicated, set it up in the mining dimension, and get a bunch of red matter. Duped. You, or not duped, but generated using it. So for this, we need some obsidian, some obsidian glass. So we need a furnace, 200 of them. We're gonna need a bunch of obsidian because I'm pretty sure each of these tiers use obsidian. Yeah, each of these tiers use obsidian. The first one needs glass, so we get a piece of glass. Okay, and then we need Obsidian, a stack should do it. And then uh, dark matter and uh, red matter and di di a diamond block. Okay, so we should be able to start this. I don't think. I want to see, make sure this doesn't have any uses that are important to us. And that's it. Okay. Put those two on, and then how much do we need? Six? go that should be pretty quick I'll keep you here for this because we haven't done this uh, on camera really all that much okay so this one's gonna require a piece of antimatter and then how much obsidian seven so Set this out, and then all we'll have to do is get the dark matter duped, because I don't want to lose our only dark matter. Go. To this. There we go. Is that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In a dark matter, 
we have one, two, three, four, six, or one short. That would be, there we go. Should also dupe up just a little bit more of that dark matter because I know we're gonna need a couple for the, for the next tier stuff. And just dupe up a couple of these while we're at it. 14 of that. Okay, so that's this tier. This tier is going back in, and I'm assuming it's the same recipe. Seven. Three, four, five. I did it again somehow. And red matter. That should do it for that. And then we can move those. And I just need to do these. She needs glowstone. So we need to get glows. We can put this back. We need a stack of glowstone, another furnace. Furnace. Not not niter or whatever that is. Sulfur. Um, and then a diamond block. Oh. Go, so let's put this furnace in here. Now we have an antimatter relay tier maxed out. Uh, oh. We just chucked all our All our stuff on the ground. And uh, then a piece of. It's kind of strange that there's no quest for, th oh, for these. Um, did I miss a quest because I wasn't picking them out of the. No? Oh, I can also claim this quest. Is there any other quests we didn't claim? Yeah, we didn't claim those ones. Claimed all the ones here, not claim... Nope, we claimed everything else that we can claim. And I needed to put the glass in, that was it. And that should go. While that's going, let's open these up. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Useful maybe, I don't know if we even need to do that mod. Seven. Am I going to ensure I have seven? There we go. And a dark matter. Just put this right back in. Seven. All right, craft up quicker. Come on, we go. And then sometimes this is very fiddly if I'm kind of tired while I'm doing it, which I am kind of tired while recording this episode right now. But we're doing it. There we go. Let's get it done. Spin faster, please. If you don't mind. And nice. So now we have a tier, max tier of those two things. Have an energy condenser. So I want this in there. I want to take half the stack. Only thing we need four. I think we have one too many of those. So let's convert because we need. No, I guess we did need that. 
Because we want to have one left over. Because we want to have one left in the computer. And then the ones we need for this task. Which I've set out. Five of these is not enough. We're going to need another stack of egg and eggs. Because these we're going to need more of. Okay. Because these are these are the struct the power flower thing you make with them. These are more needed for. I think it's almost one. Or no, it's not even close to one to one. Never mind. Oh, I even said that. Need watch. Uh, let's grab two. And the pedestals, we have three of those. Luckily, this will be just chunk loaded in another dimension, so we won't have to worry about it. Let's go to the mining. Oh. Mining dimension. Where our solar panels are set up. Yeah, so this is the solar panel setup I have going. I can add more. I just haven't finished it off yet. Now let's see. So there's this chunk is loaded. Might as well load this chunk because it's right next to it. Here's essentially what we're going to do. So I think these need to be pointed in at it. So those are the relays. And then you attach. these onto it and put that in there and the relays are receiving and they aren't sending to where they need to so how Do they have to be pointed? I do not remember this being the case in past. Does it only work with a Mark II? Maybe it only works with Mark II. Guess we're gonna run back real quick and make it Mark II. That kinda sucks. If we can't even do this right in a second, we need two quantum storage units. We'll probably do that real quick. Okay. So we need Mark III collector and matter relays. Wood. Need quite a bit of it for this.
Okay, so we have the two of those we needed. We have one of these and one of these. And then... It's really annoying that that goes right below. Behind that, we need three blocks of red matter, three blocks of dark matter. So one, two, three. And then... We need some more red matter. There's an achievement for doing that. That's interesting. Why did I do that? <coughs> I could have sworn I had dragon eggs. Maybe I used them all up. Either way, we have a hundred and... 88,000 dragon egg essence. I don't think we're hurting for it in any way. I think one of these makes two, so. There we go. Three. And that should be it. I think this requires a lot of energy. So that's going to suck a little bit, but... It should go pretty quick because we have such a large energy storage constantly running. So it shouldn't be that big of an issue. And energy condenser mark two. That's a quest. And it's also better than the Mark 1 we were using. Now let's go see if this one will work with our our uh, collectors to give us a bunch of EMC. Please say yes. And it is. Okay. So let's just throw some more of these. That increase the rates. No clue. These two should be fine. Much faster. So this is not perfect, but it's, it is passively generating us a bunch of BMC. And actually, I think... You can just set this to chunk loaded and it won't. In the chunk. Nope, that's the one I wanted to chunk load. Okay. So now this is chunk loaded. Hopefully that actually works. I don't even know if it does. Why am I doing that? go home so we can put it a quest by doing that let's look at it final of this quest line we have a couple more quest lines in mystical or in uh, project E but more in power gen 7 and 8 tier solar panels let's try and do that because we already you are using solar panels for is it tier seven and you make it need to teach it how to make those full photovoltaic cells. Which a little bit expensive, but 
this is no longer expensive. This used to be the one that I didn't want to do because it looked so expensive. And now let's go put that in our computer. Where our solar panels at? I know we have a whole page of them, yeah. And now we want to go to our thing and see if we can craft this solar. It seems like it'll work. Might take it a while. It's a lot of crafting. Yeah. So in the meantime, while I crafts up to do the quest. Since we are approaching the end of the video, I figure we should do something big. Because we are pushing down this quest line. But I want to take a quick detour to these um, environmental tech stuff. Uh, oh, I missed an N. Okay, so these... Um... Yeah, so... So that's in the, let's open this real quick. Uh, just some more yellow or more. Again, pretty useless to us. Solar. Hey, and we have some tier. Yeah, seven. Tier sevens. You can make the tier eight ones with them. Oh, it needs four, I bet, of those to make the tier eights. And then we'll just, I think that'll make two of those so we can just put them on our solar array. Um, so in regard to this stuff, this has EMC. It has a lot of EMC, to be fair, but it has an EMC value. So I think that once we get one of these, which will probably be in the next couple episodes, we can definitely just EMC it. But before we get into that, like I was saying, let's clean this real quick. Um, there's this whole solar array tier thing, which just needs us to get the controller. So, I've never done environmental tech before, and this is one of the few quest lines that I've absolutely no experience with. Pretty much everything else on this pack I've done before at some point, or at least played with, including Everedia, which is what all this is from. And also, this quest line I could do now, but most of the stuff has EMC. So I just feel like it's better to just wait until the end of the mod pack and do it once we get the Tome of Knowledge. And I think it's called the Tome of Knowledge. That will let it, or Tome of Alki, something like that. <coughs> that will let us do it the easy way. And then we can just do it the easy way. So let's open all of our quest and then next episode we'll focus on environmental tech so that's pretty good actually and come back to your chance keep something will never open and let's just quickly go set these up and see how much this is gonna improve oh. improve our uh, power oh it's rain oh and it's not raining let's go say i don't think it rains in this time. i didn't think it rained in this much Okay, so that's adding to this. Now the input is 155.6 kilo resident flux. The better way to look at that, although I was looking at it there, was um, it's just to come back in here and go over to this. What does this say we're getting? Making 3 million now. Yikes. So that 
is a big jump. Went from generating 2,000 FE a tick to 32,000 FE a tick. Yeah, so that's a bit of an upgrade. And we can go all the way up to generating 265 FE. A, well, actually, past that, we can go all the way to Chaotic, which generates 524 FE a tick. So. And has the highest transfer rate and capacity in the game. This one, I don't... Oh, no, it does require the lower tier ones. Yeah, that would, I don't know why you would do this one. You would just jump to this because it's much cheaper. Because it's essentially a one-to-one. -one. This is a two-to-one with the wyverns, and that's a two-to-one D, so that's, that sucks. So, uh, this episode, we've done a couple things. The big thing that we got set up was these uh, these lovely uh, things I can turn this off for a second right okay, I'm just trying to do that with the thing off yeah these were our main achievement this episode so oh are gone now. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed. Please look and subscribe if you did, and Mr. Enderman and I say uh, goodbye, and uh, see you later. <laughs>